guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and while usually these videos are about feeding me, today we're feeding others. I am absolutely flabbergasted at the amount of support on my last community fridge video. While the video itself didn't get a lot of views, so many of y'all decided to chip in for the next grocery trip, and I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. We were able to raise about $400 and I'm a little bit intimidated to be spending that all in one trip so I'm going to be splitting that 400 into two different trips. So for this particular video we're going to be aiming to spend around $200 worth of groceries. I feel like $200 would be enough to fill one fridge and a second fridge. So today we're going to fill the same fridge that we filled last time but also look for a second one to fill as well. Before we get started I wanted to talk a little bit about donations. Last video I said I was going to try to make a separate Venmo account. Turns out I couldn't because you're only allowed one Venmo per phone number even though you're allowed two Venmos per bank account. What I tried to do was get a free number online to use as my like Venmo number but Venmo flagged it as fake and I wasn't able to. People are now suggesting I try a Google number so I will be trying that one and I'll keep you updated if that works. But for now, all the donations are being sent to my personal Venmo and my personal PayPal. As for PayPal, I heard that you're allowed to do another PayPal without needing a new number, so I'll probably just do a new PayPal. Unfortunately, that won't help us that much, considering like 95% of people want to donate via Venmo. So what I did in order to keep this as transparent as possible is I made a Google Doc of all the donations that I received. I will be including a link to that Google Doc in the description box down below. So if you made a donation, you can personally see it on the Google Doc and then see exactly when I use it. That was the best solution that I came up with and if you have a better idea, let me know. With that housekeeping out of the way, I wanted to show you stuff I'm bringing from home before we go grocery shopping. All of these are either things that Roberto and I bought and didn't end up using or were gifted to us and we're just not gonna eat all of it. First off, we have Ideal Raw Protein Powder. Then we have these two high-key baking mixes. They are keto and vegan. Um, then we have these two Joys. This one is almond and this one is cashew. Joy is like a like an instant plant milk paste. So you basically blend a spoonful of this with water to make plant milk. And so one of these makes like gallons of plant milk. Super awesome. French vanilla creamer from Nut Pods. Some mushroom jerky peach oolong Oreos, and a bunch of different bars. One more last, last piece of news before we go, and you probably like see this in the thumbnail or the title or something. My little brother wanted to come along, so we're gonna go pick him up and bring him with us. I don't get to see him very often, so I'm excited he wanted to shoot this with me, so uh, I'll see you there. Hi. For those of you who don't know, this is Daniel. He is 10 years younger than me, even though everyone thinks he's older than me. It's really <laughs> dumb. One time, we were in a grocery store, and someone thought he was my husband. That was, yeah, that was a lot. That was really, really <laughs> bad. Anyway, he wanted to come along with, so I picked him up, and he's coming with. I wanted to say three notes that I got on my grocery haul last time. The first is people recommended that I pick up some baby food. That's smart. Don't know why I didn't think of that, so we're getting baby food. The second is, like, personal note for me. I want to try to get a little bit more produce, so I'm going to try to find produce that kind of, you know, lasts a little while, like apples and potatoes and not, potatoes, like, yeah. like greens, because then they'll wilt quickly. And then what was the third note? Somebody said to try to get supplementary foods if that makes sense I don't know what to call it but you know how a lot of people would donate like pasta for example so there seems to be a shortage of like pasta sauce uh, like you know what I mean okay, okay, okay. like, like make the whole yeah yes okay. exactly so I'm gonna try to get like things to season things like pesto pasta sauce someone said like butter so I'm gonna try to get like foods like that if that makes sense I told you guys that I was gonna be donating all my money from the last video to this trip so I'll put a screenshot right here I made $38.96 so I will be donating the $38.96 that I made from the last video into this haul that's it goodbye all right we're gonna start with these guys again but we're gonna get double we're gonna get six of these for two dollars the beans are still four for five I'm gonna get eight cans now we're at ten dollars Coconut milk is five for four, so now we're at $14. I'm totally off, we're at $16. Dried black beans are five for five today, so five of those. Italian dressing, two for five, now we're at 26. The pasta's 99 cents like last time, so that's another $3, $29. Oh, holy shit, this is $29. That's really far from 200. Oh, this has hit me. These are $5.89 each, so I grabbed two different flavors. I'm not a fan of barbecue sauce, but I'm not the flavor police. So we're gonna do $2.50 and $2.50, that is five more dollars. So this is strawberry vinaigrette, $3.30. So this is my attempt at taking feedback 
of flavoring things. I'm also looking to get like pasta sauce or something later on. Uh, these are two for four. These ended up being uh, four for five, so we snagged four of them. This rice is a dollar fifty. I got four, so that's six more dollars. We're at sixty-eight oh eight. These are five seventy-nine each, so a little bit pricey, but they literally last months. They're so good. They're my favorite bouillon in the world, so they're going in. Uh, these are two for five, so uh, ten bucks. These are my favorite yogurts in the whole wide world. The silk soy yogurt. Uh, this is two dollars each, so ten dollars of yogurt. These are three dollars and sixty-nine cents each, so I got three of them. Two of them are olive oil based, and one of them is almond oil based. We're gonna get some soy milk because it's higher in protein. That's four seventy-nine. We're getting two of them. Shelf stable almond breeze is three nineteen, so I'm gonna grab two of those. Well, let's do one vanilla and one original. And I'm gonna throw a chocolate one in just because that's yummy. Okay, we're at one twenty-nine eighty-eight. This bread is two for three, so that's six more dollars. I got two things of baby oatmeal, and then I got a bunch of these little jars of baby food. They're a dollar each. I got ten of them. I got things like apple, pear, banana, carrot. Hey, there's one with like a mixed vegetable that looked kind of good. Ah, here, garden vegetables. There was a bunch of different brands of baby food, but like this looked the healthiest. Ingredients: peas, green beans, carrots, potatoes, water. So. We're at 153 26. 26. And now we're gonna head over to like the produce. Just eggs on sale for four dollars, so I got two of them, that's eight dollars. Oh, I said we're going to produce, but we stopped at the vegan section first. I'm also gonna do two of these because they're they're a great staple. These uh tofurky plant-based stuff. This is the lightly seasoned chicken. And ooh, I've never seen sesame garlic, but it looks good. We're getting it too. We're in the produce section. I'm not gonna count things because a lot of things are per pound and I can't do it in my head. But I'm getting like produce, produce -y stuff. Stuff that'll last a little, little while. Green avocados, acorn squash, bananas, um, apples, oranges, stuff like that. Got some sweet potatoes, onions, four packs of tofu. I think we're rounding the corner to the end now. So this is the cart. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be around $200. Oh, it's so full. I'm so excited to go fill fridges. Okay, so I put all like the non-canned things here. I put the canned stuff right there with like some tomato sauce and then the apples and oranges. And I put them separately this way. I could like evenly distribute the different kinds of food per fridge. Does that make sense? Uh, let me show you how much money we paid. I'm gonna get into the car. Okay, yeah, it's a long receipt. It's, we got so much food. Anyway, um, I wanna show you guys how much money we spent. I'm just gonna fold it in a way that doesn't show my credit card number to the world. $217.89. We're gonna head over to the, stop. We're gonna head over to the uh, the fridge in front of Beauty Strike and fill that one up first. And then we're gonna see what other fridges we can find. Okay, so we're at the community fridge, although there's someone there um, getting some groceries. I don't wanna bother them, so we're waiting till they leave. And then we're going to assess the situation, see what we can fill it with, and then do our thing, do the thing, do the thing. So we have some produce in the bottom, some veggies, some, oops, some other veggies. Oh, two salad kits, that's nice. All right, we're gonna fill it up and then we'll show you the after. Okay, so I put like the veggies and stuff here. We have the bread, we have some snacks, cans, protein powder, ramen, rice, lots of canned stuff, some tomato sauce, the butter, the tofu's back there, some apples, baby food, almond milk, dressing, burgers, pasta, beans, oranges, soy milk, yogurt, all of this stuff. Half of the mission accomplished. I did not get a lot of clips of me filling the fridge because I feel awkward filming myself filling the fridge, so I'm sorry about that. But we still have like so many groceries left. I got Daniel and I coffees and we're on our way to the second location. It's called, well, the place it's connected to is called Playground Coffee. It's about nine minutes away, so we're gonna drive over. Um, but I also got him some pastries from Le Petit Mans. Monsieur. 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 Uh, and um, I'm gonna see what he thinks about it before we drive off. I forgot to get him a stir stick for his sugar. Nice. I wanna show you that this is beautiful. Not your face. Damn. I can't insult his face too much because we basically look like male and female versions of the same person. So, oh, you smell that? Very good. This is a cronut. Cr 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 it's a cronut. I got him a maple pecan cronut. You take huge bites. That's like 
unbearably good. So he's gonna eat those and then uh, I'm gonna drive over to the next fridge which is only like nine minutes away. See you there. Over there. It's, it's right there. The fridge is so cute. It's like painted and stuff. It's huge and it's very empty so we could take all the groceries we have left. I'm very excited. I'm just gonna pop over there to show you how it looks like and then we gonna fill it up. All right, so whoever painted these, like, good job. So cute. Look at it. It's so cute. Um, but here it is. This place has, like, a little basket for produce, which is cool. But it seems to be empty other than some salsa. Maybe I think those are, like, instant mashed potatoes or something. Some veggies over here. Yeah. Let's do this. Piece of my camera stand is still in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> we could have filled this with so much more food. I'm going to buy more next time. But let me show you what we did end up getting in here. Um, I put all of the canned stuff on the top shelf, and then over here we have some milk, some dressings, uh, baby cereal, rice, uh, uh, tofurkey stuff, bread, sauce, pasta, just egg, ramen. You guys see it, all this stuff. And then I put all of our produce down here where the produce was. And that is how the fridge looks like now. Next time we'll bring enough to fill both sides. Oh, so, mm -hmm, head too big. That is all! That is all! We filled fridges! Okay, so a little bit of a recap. In the description box down below, I will have a Google Doc with all of the donations and when I use each donation, so mm -hmm. you guys can track your own donations for complete transparency. Number two, I'm gonna try to do this about twice a week or so, so stay tuned for the next video. And number three, if you'd like to contribute financially, I'm gonna have either my Venmo or if I was successful in making a separate Venmo down in the description box down below. I will also have a PayPal down there for you to con contribute as well. And if you would like to contribute non-financially, please watch the video all the way through, like, comment, share, because all the money I make off of this video is gonna go towards the next fridge fill. So yeah, or share it. The more views it gets, the more money we can trick Google into paying for food. To help people. To help people. Exactly. Is that great? Play it on a loop while you sleep. We're gonna manipulate Google for the good. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Say thank you to Daniel for coming along and helping me. It really was a lot of help because it was a lot more than last time. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, up on my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, and Andrew. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.